five ways to get your group to introduce themselves to each other. We have another video on how to introduce yourself as the visual leader, but what happens when you want the group to introduce themselves? You want to make sure that it's always a positive mood setting type of activity. So one of my favorite ones is just to find a really positively focused question. You might ask, what's one good thing that's happened to you at work this week? Or one good thing that's happened in your life? And that's the, our first tip. Now the second one is you might get people to interview each other and then share two or three things they learned about the other person. This is always a little intimidating for me as a participant. So if I if I were going to do this as a facilitator, what I would do is I would give everybody a piece of paper so they can jot down a couple of notes and then ask each person to just check, is this okay if I introduce these things about you? Give them a couple of questions to ask each other and then pull out two or three really positive things about what you learned about the other person. The third way is to share a special object that they might bring from their office or their home that is really meaningful to them. And you can create a beautiful table and they share their object, why it's important to them, how it helps them do their work and or feel positive about their work. And then they can put that object on the table for the length of the meeting. Now, I have two others and I'm actually going to show you how to do them. And they're really some fun, quick ones. So one is... Uh, you're going to do an uh, instruction with a uh, draw an emoji showing how are you doing. So my, the question might be like this, draw an emoji showing how you are doing today. And then you might actually have an example of an emoji. Now that's going to work really well with all the generations in the room because people are using smartphones and they can look at the emojis on their smartphones and it's, it's just kind of a fun way to get people to share. And the last one, I've talked to you about this on other videos, but it's choose a card. In this case, we're talking about a group works deck card. And so again, you give the directions in writing to show your intention or like a card that represents how you want the meeting to go today. So that's our tip for, for group works deck. And um, it's nice to have something visual that everybody can show. And if you don't know about GroupWorks Deck, please just look up that phrase on Google and you'll find all about it.